Hey guys, today I'm filming my next Hit It Record It Thoughts on hauls. If you're unfamiliar with this series, I will have my playlist linked down below. And basically I'm going to be reviewing everything I featured in a haul video a year ago to let you know my current thoughts on those products. I will have the original video linked down below and I will have a list of everything that I mentioned. So this is my December haul and what I got for Christmas. And we will start with Ulta. So I had only purchased two things in a month with my actual money. So first would be a Belief Moisture Balm set that I got on sale and I think probably used a coupon on top of that. And let me tell you, I was so disappointed that this year Belief did not have a Moisture Balm or eye cream set like they usually do and I was hoping to be able to get on sale with coupon and whatnot, but no. And now I'm on my last jar of this and I have about half of this left. This is my favorite nighttime moisturizer. And I used to think that it didn't really matter what I used at night as long as it was a little bit heavier because I wasn't worried about what I was gonna do to makeup or anything. But as I've used other creams, I feel like they just sit on my skin and feel like heavy and gross. And this one doesn't, it sinks in, but leaving like a little layer on top and it is very nourishing. So this is definitely something that I will be repurchasing. I'm gonna hope I can get it on sale in some way, but I absolutely love it. My all-time favorite nighttime moisturizer, and I actually don't really have many other nighttime ones right now. So we'll see what I end up doing there. And then I had gotten this limited edition EOS candy cane swirl lip balm. You guys know I love these sticks, and I wanted to try the candy cane scent because they usually just have sweet mint. As you can see, I haven't opened this one yet. I really did not use my EOS lip balms almost at all this year because I was panning other products, so I definitely want to get back into it next year. Then I cashed in Ulta points and used a coupon to get five high-end products for free. So first I picked up the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. I've used up several little samples of this and I do think this is very nice. The original Veil Primer, which people said was amazing for oily skin, it didn't do anything for me. It was like too thin. This one is a little bit thicker but does not feel heavy on the skin. I do find this to be nice and smoothing and this isn't like a mattifying primer but I do feel like I don't get shiny as I do with other primers. So I really do enjoy this one and it's not something I would just buy with my own money but I'm glad it's at Ulta so I can get with points again in the future but I am working on some other primers but I will be excited to be able to use this one again but I did use up a couple minis this year and I do like it. Then I had purchased one of the Buxom Plump Shot Collagen Infused Lip Serums. This is the color Flush. So originally they had a clear shade then they came out with two shimmer shades and I had used up a little mini of the clear and I loved it. So you guys know I love my Buxom glosses. The plump shots are more plumping and they do have a burning sensation, not a cooling sensation. I do find it to be intense, but it's really on par with the Grande Cosmetics lip plumper. It's the same amount of burning, I would say, but this one really does have more of that serum-y smooth consistency, which I feel like helps bring down the intensity. And I really love it. This is a gorgeous color. I liked this in spring paired with more of like a pinky lip liner but it is like a nars orgasm esque shade but honestly these shimmery ones end up basically looking clear on the lips i did just see that buxom released like maybe like five or six more like duochrome shimmer shades of the plump shot and i might be interested in that but i need to swatch in person and see how intense the duochrome is and then I had gotten this little mini of Givenchy Irresistible Perfume. I've used up several little samples of it and really fell in love. And I was so happy last year I fell in love with like four new perfumes, which was amazing for me because I'm very picky about perfumes and I always get samples and whenever there's something new to try out and I just don't like a lot of things. But the notes for this one, the top note, Sparkling Pear and Ambrette middle luscious rose and the base note is blonde wood and musk but i really love this one and unfortunately this is a rollerball and not a little spray but that's fine we will make it work and this seems like a good amount 20 mils or 0.67 fluid ounces and lastly i got two laura mercier caviar sticks you guys know this is my favorite shadow stick formula and i had actually tried both of these shades in a holiday set in the metallic version which had glitter which I 
didn't like, but I like the colors enough to get the original formula. So this first one is copper. And I actually don't have something like this now that I used up my shadow stick from the balm. And then we have moonlight, which is more of a taupe shade. I do have metallic taupe from them, which is a little bit more bronze. This one is a little bit more cool tone, which I think will be really lovely. Then for the makeup products that I had gotten for Christmas, I had asked my mom for this for my stocking. This is the Candy Cane Swirl Lip Balm Stick from EOS and their 24 hour moisture lip butter, both in Candy Cane Swirl. I have never tried the lip butter formula before, so I am excited for that, but I was really working on, like I said, some other long haul lip balms this year, so I wanna try that next year. Then I got in four different palettes. This first one was a mini holiday palette from Pat McGrath. This is Nude Allure. I'm so mad at myself because we did not end up getting this very discounted because I didn't realize she had free shipping all the time. So I acted too quickly on this with a very small discount and then it went up to like 40% off. I think this is a nice palette. However, I do regret buying it because I have hardly reached for it at all. I do need to pull it out though. I think it has some really pretty shades, but I didn't need it. Then I got Adept Cosmetics Minka palette. I think that their shimmers are very interesting. So all of these duochrome shifts are very intense. And sometimes after I've done my mattes and then I put this on, they look a little bit different than I thought they would. So I try to swatch all the colors in the back of my hand before I put them on my eye. And these all, they have like a really like creamy, almost wet texture, which is interesting, but I don't feel like it makes them crease extra or anything, but I really do like this color selection. I do feel like these two mattes though are very different in depth, but I like that there are some mattes here. They have the Odin's Eye Merry Christmas palette. I really love the looks I created with this. This is pretty colorful and fun for me, but some of the more neutral shades here, I absolutely love. So very happy that I have this one. And my favorite palette out of all of them would be this Give Me Glow Cosmetics 2 Moods palette. The formula in here is absolutely incredible. I love that we have like four different quads. I would love to buy more palettes from them in the future. I really wanted to pick up some of their singles when they were on sale, but I really don't use my single shadows enough, so I didn't allow myself. Their mattes are good, but their metallics are insane. So highly recommend this palette. The only negative is that it's very big and hard to store. Then my friend Lauren had decluttered a couple products to me and she gave me a couple Christmas gifts. If you wanna see the rest of the decluttered products, check my original video, but I wanted to review the new thing she got me. Unfortunately, I cannot review this because I haven't used it yet. Shame on me, this is the Lunar Beauty 12 Days of Lunar. It was an advent calendar palette, which I think is an amazing idea. So here are all of the shades included. Very pretty, more warm. And I like that there is, I think, an even amount of mattes and shimmers. So I really, really do enjoy that. I believe it was this shade Manny said wasn't up to his standards, but he didn't want to, you know, waste all that money opening up the advent calendars. So he sent a replacement along with the palette. I can't remember if I have the original or the replacement in here. I haven't used this yet. I have used other Lunar Beauty palettes before and I've liked them. Although I feel like this formula is not the same as the, the nude palette that he has because those shimmers are more creamy, but I do want to use this because Lauren gave it to me as a very generous gift. And then she also gave me the Rare Beauty Powder Highlight in Enlighten. I really wanna try this in Exhilarate and Mesmerize, the more champagne and the pinky shade, because I feel like this is a really nice formula, but this color is a little bit too icy on me. I used to have that preference and I don't quite anymore. I'm not a natural highlight girl, but I don't want something to be too light color wise and i think that this one is i've been playing around with it this month and i'm just not sure this also has like a ton of kick up it's very powdery but it does give a really nice glow but i think it's just not the right shade for me next i had gotten a package from merit with their great skin instant glow serum i'm using this as my daytime serum right now i've used up one in the past i do really like this but for me it is very moisturizing, so as an oily skin person, I really can only use this in winter and early spring. But if you have dry skin, I think this is wonderful. I know some people use this as just a primer. I like it as a serum, and I think it meshes well with my other skincare products. When I put other primers on top, I have no issue. And you just make sure you shake it up. But I will say it's a brown color, so you want to have your arm a little bit away from your body, so you don't like 
splash any on yourself accidentally, especially if you're wearing a light colored shirt. But I do really enjoy the formula of this. Then I had gotten the complexion stick. I was able to pick out a color. I've already had the foundation shades and there isn't a good one for me. So I ended up picking a deep shade amber to use as a bronzer. Unfortunately, it was a little too like yellowy orange because again it's meant to be a foundation shade not necessarily the best bronzer color so I did end up passing it on to a friend that does have a little bit of a deeper complexion so that she could play with it but I don't really like stick foundations in general and I'm bummed that it didn't work out as a cream bronzer because I think it would have blended beautifully I mean I think the formula of this is very good and I think that it has enough emollients to it that it's not going to be like super drying on dry skin, but just stick foundations aren't for me. Then I got to pick a color of the Flush Balm and I chose the shade Mood. It's the deepest color. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. I try to be light handed. This is a really nice formula. I have some other colors from Merit that I like a little bit more and use a little bit more, but after wearing it today, I feel like this is different enough, but still something I would want to keep in my collection. This is a nice formula. I find it to be buildable. I put this under and over powder today. Over powder, you just need to really like be careful to make sure that it blends. And then I chose the deepest lip oil in the shade Falcon, which is a brown. I've never really gone with a deep brown lip color before, but because this is a lip oil, it's nice and sheer and more approachable so i am happy that i have this because it is very different from my collection but i would love some suggestions from you guys on what type of eyeshadow or blush color that you think would go nice with this and maybe i want to create like a whole look i don't know i'm trying to think so let me know your all suggestions or like the best way that you wear a brown lip but overall really happy with all of those formulas and Unfortunately, the amber color did not work for me as a bronzer stick, but the other things, thumbs up. That is so lame. I don't know why I did. I hate thumbs up. Then I got some things from Kaja. They sent over a lot of stuff to celebrate and promote their Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. And unfortunately, I have decluttered a lot of it. And I've given it to friends and I'm always so excited when I get to share products with my friends and my friends Amanda and Jean really like get excited about trying Kaja PR specifically. So I was glad I got to pass things on. And for me, you know, I only want to keep things that I really love. It's easier to pass on things that I didn't buy myself, but I don't want that to come off as me not being appreciative or grateful because I absolutely am. And I love being able to try and review things. So first they had included a mini gloss shot duo with Milk Tea, which is a very light pink, basically clear. So I gave that to my friend Amanda. And then we have Rosy Mocha, which was unfortunately a limited edition shade because this is so beautiful. I'm wearing it on, oh, just got a glob on my shirt. I'm wearing this today. Let me add a little bit more. The applicator is really weird it has a little bit of like a scoop to it but you know it does pick up a lot of good product this is firm so i find it easy to apply i think that this is such a pretty color and these glosses have more of like a light medium opacity to them they are a little bit thicker and stickier than i like they don't feel sticky right away but as they wear off, they get a little bit stickier. So I think I want to pan the ones that I have and I don't plan on repurchasing. But I also think that these are maybe being discontinued because I've seen them clearanced out, which is a shame because the colors do look really beautiful on the lips. So if you're able to get these discounted, definitely go for it. I know other people really like them. They're just a tinge too sticky for me. They sent the Love Swipe lip mousse in number four swipe right and number five i'm melting i have passed those on i'm not a big liquid lipstick person i have a couple formulas that i really love and i sort of stick to that these are shaped like little hearts which is very cute this is a lip mousse so it is a more comfortable less heavy less dry liquid lipstick so i do think it's a good option if you're wanting a formula like that and most of the colors though are basically like different depths of mauve i think there are some warmer shades but they definitely could do with a little bit of variety there 
Then I had gotten the Mochi Glow Bouncy Highlight and number three Luna. It was a little bit dark for me, but also I didn't really love this formula. I found it to be pretty challenging to apply. I feel like it doesn't really pick up with a brush. You have to use your finger, but it's also a little bit glittery and just does not glide onto the cheeks nicely. So I would pass on that. Then they gave the Cheeky Stamp Blush and Koi. That color was very light, so I ended up passing it on. And the color I have now that I got later in a different package would be saucy and this is a really nice cushion blush i think the formula is really nice blends beautifully onto the skin like seamlessly it's really nice i'd say use a regular beauty sponge do not use the stamp that comes with it it is cutesy but not the most practical i just hate how big this is i would like it more if we just got rid of the stamp but i understand that's like the concept of this but it is a nice formula I want to get some more use out of this shade so it's very good if you think that you will get use out of it and then i had gotten the wink lash trio which ended up passing on i just have a lot of mascaras and i looked at the brushes online and they didn't blow me away you have a mascara primer or a clear brow gel which to me is like not the same thing and then you have a lengthening mascara wand and a volumizing mascara wand and then I also sent the Wink Stamp Liner, which comes with a regular liquid liner and then a wing stamp, which just sounds super fun. I have not really used my liquid liners very much this year and I have some older ones that I need to use first. So I went ahead and passed this on, but this is something that I think I will keep if I get it in PR again, because I would love to try it out. I just know I wouldn't get to it in a while and I don't want it to dry up waiting on me. So guys, those are my thoughts on all the things that I had hauled a year ago. I would love to know your thoughts if you guys have tried any of these products. I would love to hear your color combo suggestions with these palettes. Definitely this Advent palette. And please let me know what sort of blushes and eyeshadows you think would go nicely with this brown lippy from Merit. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.